hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for tuning in i want to do just a little new year update slash check-in for some reason i just had a realization now going into the new year i knew i really wanted to do better with you know waking up earlier exercising being cognizant of what i'm eating drinking more water and all that has been going well and i think doing that made me it gave me more time to really be with myself be with my thoughts i don't mindlessly scroll through instagram anymore and i've been reflecting a lot and reading a lot of self-help books that have had me thinking very deeply about things and i realized that at some point in my early 20s or maybe just came from childhood that i had a mental block where because there were some things that i wanted to achieve some goals that i had and maybe i didn't achieve them or didn't reach the full happiness and success in the area that i wanted somehow that manifested into me feeling like i can't get it like i don't deserve the life that i want like it that's really a subconscious fear that i have a doubt that i had that is rooted in fear and i'll elaborate like I don't know if this mindset came from failed friendships, failed relationships, which really, they're not failures, but looking at it in that way, or if it was something that had to do with when I was in, in, in college and just kind of, I mean, college was not easy for me. I'll you know be honest and say that it wasn't all, always easy. I'm in grad school now. It's not always easy. And I think I just kind of because it was things were hard at some points i just became hard on myself and i think i kind of took this um what's the word where you just kind of give in i kind of gave that kind of energy and was just like you know what I, what's the point of even trying so hard anymore and now i'm having a wake-up call i'm having to snap my fingers and wake up and smell the folders in the morning and that's why i'm titling this video showing up as her i am snapping my fingers waking up smelling the folders in the morning and showing up as her every single day showing up as that person that knows that she deserves the life that she wants you want the relationship you want the peace you want the happiness you want the success you want the career you really really are really the main thing is just peace because you can have all that and still not have peace within yourself still not be okay with who you are i want that that faith that is so strong, that just that peace that is so strong. That's what I want. And I'm showing up as her and I'm showing up as someone that already has that. Someone that already has that kind of stuff, they don't lay in the bed all the time until the afternoon. They don't eat whatever they want. They don't neglect their body and not work out. They don't sit around just lounging around on autopilot. I'm always telling you guys how important it is to not be on autopilot. But I've realized reflecting and looking back, there were some things that I entertained that i did that shows that i was on autopilot or it could just been that i was naive i don't know but i'm always trying to improve so we're gonna say that i was on autopilot and situations that i entertained five six months ago i would not entertain today because sh showing up as her she she is booked and busy she has plans she's on go and it means showing up every day as that person and not being scared i know if i want to make friends if i want to date if i want to grow on social media build a brand build a business it's all about putting myself out there and there is a there is fear that i have rooted deep down that i can't do those things i can't put myself out there i can't post all the time i can't get dressed up and do this and, and because it's, it's this fear of all these things happening when i do that that have happened in the past that keeps me from doing it but like i've said Fear is only false events appearing real and the person that I'm showing up as, her, the future her, doesn't operate in fear. She operates in faith. The life that you want, the life that you truly deserve, you can have it. You can absolutely have it. If you believe that, the way that you run your day-to-day -day life will be so different than what it is now. Now, I mean, personally, I've done very well these past couple of weeks into the new year like I mentioned earlier but I just really had to make sure that I am not subscribing to that belief of I can't have what it is that I want when I can because I used to believe I used to tell myself even when I was younger why would God give me a dream that I can't achieve why would God give me a vision that I can't get 
That is why he gave it to me because he knows I can get there through faith in him. Yesterday, I was watching a podcast and they were talking about insecurities. Like, you know, what are your insecurities? What are you insecure about? And it was funny because I remember when I was talking to someone, they asked me kind of the same thing. Um, what is amazing you don't like about yourself? And when they were talking about insecurities, it made me reflect about, you know, insecurities with with physical. Um, and, you know, I mean, there's other types of insecurities too, but I was like, okay, what are my physical insecurities? And I kind of realized, you know, I have my insecurities. And, but I think I'm still too hard on myself. Because, I mean, I, I realize, and I know that this is actually a blessing that I'm having to realize these things and thinking so much about my insecurities. Like, for instance, stretch marks. Okay, women get stretch marks. Women get stretch marks. And I, I kind of was thinking, wow, you know, stretch marks, you know, what if they get worse? Like, I don't know. It was so weird. It was so weird because I'm having these thoughts and it's like, well, first of all, nobody's going to see those stretch marks, but you, it's your body. You're not showing, show, you know, showcasing your body to the world. So you're basically just judging yourself. Anybody that is seeing those stretch marks, they shouldn't care anyway. So you're being too hard on yourself. You're judging yourself too much. Stretch marks is natural. Acne is natural. I don't know. Uh, what, we're human beings and that's what I have to remind myself of at the end of the day you're a human you are not a robot you are not a photoshopped model on Instagram you're a human you have real life experiences real life hormonal changes real life energy changes real life doubts real life fears real life pain and that's okay and I'm like I tell myself because you're a human, there are going to be some days where you'll be moody. You won't be motivated. You won't want to do anything. I've had those days. I was one of my days today. I was sleeping before I just got in the car to make this video. I didn't necessarily feel like doing it, but I said, no, I'm showing up as her. I'm showing up as that person that has an audience, that has people waiting for her videos, for her content, because her content is so great. Her content is so powerful, but she doesn't believe in herself enough to put it out there more. She's scared. She's scared that she won't succeed. She's scared that she'll lose followers. She's scared of what people might think, people might say. It doesn't matter anymore. It just doesn't matter anymore. I'm not doing this anymore enough is enough i am i'm not even getting old but i'm turning 24 this year there's some mindset shifts that have to happen they have to happen there's always going to be something in your way something stopping you that's life that's what i'm saying that's life that's part of the human experience but it's up to you to move past that and get what you want to get done anyway it's up to you I'm really focusing on not being so hard on myself. I mean, right now, like literally right now, I, I'm i really just resetting. I'm getting still, I'm resetting, I'm focusing on work, school, and my body, and my mental health, and my spiritual health. That's what I'm focused on. I'm not focusing on going out, being in the mix, meeting this person, meeting that person, having fun, getting that dopamine release. When I say having fun, I mean, my definition of having fun is like, I don't know, going to, going out. I mean, I, honestly, going out really isn't fun to me anymore. <laughs> but I'm not, I don't want to do that because when I want to get to a place where I'm okay with who I am, I'm, I'm content with the work that I've done with this resetting period. I want to get okay with that and then go out and, and meet people and go out and about and sit like you have no care in the world at a restaurant. That's cute, but it wasn't cute for me anymore because I'm like, nah, something's still not right. I'm still a little self-conscious about something. I'm still a little insecure. I, there's still work that needs to be done. And that's what I'm doing. I still need to be spending some time in the gym. There's a, there's a word for that. I don't know what they call it, but they'd be like, okay, go disappear for like three to six months <laughs> and then come back kind of thing. That's kind of what I'm doing. I'm not interested in like post, like on my story on Instagram, I would post my outfits and my hair and my makeup. But I don't feel like I don't do that anymore because I honestly, it really did not make me happy. To be completely honest, it did not make me happy to know that I would post and share parts of my life and people will watch it. But those people were weird to me in real life, were weird to me in person. And I just, and I know we always focus on like those small few, but it made me so, I, I didn't like how that was making me feel in my spirit. But taking the pictures, 
putting the outfit together does make me happy so i still do it i do it i just don't post it because i'd be having to remind myself look social media has brainwashed us to make us think that we're more important than we really are we're not that important we're not that important to people but people just want to be nosy so like what's an example picture this is from last i mean you really can't see anything but little outfit little outfit little solo date time and i don't be sharing it on social media because i don't like when you watch a story you could make a story and then you click and watch who watched it that was just unhealthy something about it didn't feel right to me so i stopped doing it <laughs> And maybe I'll come back and do it once I really am happy about it. Like, once I really am okay with everything else. I think that's why it was bothering me so much. Because I was like, ooh, like, let me post this. Oh, this person watched this person. Watch. Like, you, you, you're you, seeking validation. Stop doing that. Like, you're, you're seeking validation, which is kind of like... It, it really symbolizes that you need to work on some things. And that's what I want to do. I want to work on some things. I'm resetting. I feel great about this reset. I have been affirming myself, getting calm, getting still, and it's been great. And I am officially her. I'm officially showing up as her every single day. And I am excited to continue to share my journey.